Shaquille O'Neal's entrance. We are in Atlanta, Georgia. We are on day one of what's gonna be a three-day build for Shaquille O'Neal himself. We're coming together as certified Aquascape contractors, artists of the year to create Shaquille O'Neal, the man, the myth, the legend himself, an Aquascape water feature. Let's go check it out. Shall we begin? So today is the day. I cannot believe it's finally here. Lots of logistics, lots of planning, and still lots of logistics and lots of planning. Everything changed when we got together with the Artist of the Year, and I knew this would happen. When Brian was here yesterday, Joey, they decided to change my simple design, which was a waterfall that started up by that push up there and came down with a bridge over top of it, to moving the waterfall from there over to there and starting it closer to the house. Do I agree with that decision? Yes, and it's okay because this is what these guys do every day. So it's gonna be spectacular to see a collaboration of these guys who are all super talented in their own way. This is gonna be a fun build, stick around. Shaquille O'Neal's house. Weather's participating so far. We've had a couple miracles on the way here, and it'd be a miracle if the rain doesn't hit us today. So you can see all these crazy spray painted lines out over here. In fact, that caterpillar machine brought to us by Cath is sitting right in the middle of the pond. So we have a 40 one foot pond by about 20 feet wide. We're going a little over two feet deep. We've got bridges coming in, bog filters coming in. We've got different spears that are gonna be put in. We got bridges, all kinds of great stuff. One of the coolest bells and whistles is something that the pond guy himself designed. So right here, you can see this odd circle. And right through the center, you see a line. That line represents our pond. So the fire pit, this circle, is gonna sit half in the pond, half outside of the pond. The best part about that is sitting here, looking back up at that slope. So if you can see all these other so-called workers, <laughs> That's where the waterfall and stream is going to start. We've got about a five foot grade change to work with, so a pretty epic waterfall. They're going to come crashing down through there, fed by the spears, plus a bog filter and everything else. And I can already picture Shaquille O'Neal himself sitting here with his feet up like this, probably smoking a cigar, looking up at that cool waterfall. And then just behind you, of course, is the epic tree house that he had the tree house masters come to. So we have a group of pond masters here to accent off the tree house. It's going to be an amazing project. I I hope I can uh, get this done. I hope we can get this done in the next three days. With the talent that we've got here, it should be fun. Maybe, I'd love to say effortless. It'll never be effortless, but it will be fun. progress that we've made so far. I really love the shape of the pond. It looks a little bit different than our normal amoebic kind of shape along this near side here. The reason for that is we're going to put a retaining wall using retaining bricks inside the pond to create this really formal edge that goes straight down. Our fire pit is also gonna be over on this side. Because we don't know exactly how that shape's gonna go, we over excavated. So this kind of straight line over here will actually become very contoured and curved. Also, where we're making great progress is we've got the intake bay already dug. That's where our aqua blocks and pumps are going to sit in that area. So that's our oversized skimmer on steroids over there. And you can see the shape of the pond being dug. It helps have great operators, great water feature artists, and just great people in general to really make a project like this happen. It took us about an hour and a half to dig this pond. Now you've got about 15 guys standing around chomping at the bit because we don't have a material here. We sent Greg out to get the liner. I'm not sure if that was a really great idea, but uh, hopefully he comes back with coffee. So our whole excavation for the pond is finished. We've got a nice beach entrance going in here. Right now, Joey's working on digging in a really cool feature, which is going to be a built-in fire pit. On the far end of the pond, we've got our intake skimmer. That's where we're gonna be drawing all the debris so it could be removed during maintenance. Yeah. 
Yeah, they had a fight, but 1240. No, I went up to like 2 o'clock. What's all these people? Uh, we had a pipe bus over here, man. Water. You know what I mean? Water. Yeah. Yeah. What's your name? The pond guy. How are you? Nice, uh, nice to meet you, buddy. Yeah. And we also have one other little problem that we found. Yes, sir. Uh, I, I think it's best I just show you. It's only a problem if you tell somebody about it. So maybe we can just figure out a way to get rid of it. How long have you lived here? Uh, this three is years, maybe okay. I think this is longer than three years old. We kind of found this. Yes, when we were digging. It just kind of came up. No, you didn't find that here. Yeah, I didn't find it. We're, we can get rid of it. No problem. Here. No, no, no. Somebody we'll get rid of it. There. there. Nothing happened. It never happened. Yeah, <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, I've never seen that before. <laughs> hey, everybody, Shaquille O'Neal, huh? <laughs> Can you believe we started three hours ago? We did. <laughs> yeah, three hours ago. You almost done? Well, we've got three days to get this with the artists. All, all these guys are certified Aquascape contractors, artists from around the world. Came Stop. This. America, is that a word? Aquascape, let me know. <laughs> okay, continue, sir. You know how you like on set on Shack Life, how you just love to sit at the edge of your beach and look at the blue water and right. see the sand? Well, we got a sand beach for you right here. Oh, nice. And this entire thing is going to be water. And then all through here, where we dug up that skull, that's going to be a waterfall and stream coming over. Wait, come here. Hey. Come here. You. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> how old are you? 13. Basketball player. 13? And you out here working? That's awesome, dude. What's your name? Nick. I nice see. You. Where are you from? New York. Oh, okay, that's awesome. Proud of you, bro. Thank you. So these are all certified Aquascape contractors that volunteered their time to be part of this build. Oh, yeah, brother. Nice don't, don't feel so big now. Uh, <laughs> how deep you going? Three feet. Oh, three feet. Yeah, and we got a beach entry over here, so you can literally go in there with the kids and let them splash around with the fish and everything. We got koi fish coming for you, water lilies. When we get done here, we got a patio, we got the fire pit that we talked about. Right. It's going to be completely landscaped, completely done, turnkey, Thursday night for you to check out. <laughs> <laughs> a local eighth grader had the experience of a lifetime today. Nick Decker on the left right there, he plays basketball at Shalmont. He and his dad are in Georgia right now helping to put in a koi pond at Shaquille O'Neal's mansion. And Shaq made an unforgettable appearance. He showed up, he pointed right at Nick. He asked him his name, how old he was, before giving the 13-year-old a fist bump and telling him good job. It didn't feel like it was real, to be honest. It was kind of like, I don't know, you could kind of feel like it just felt different because it was like you're like, is he really that big? You know, like there's this like... <laughs> I think his forearms are the size of my thighs. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he's really that big. He's seven one, by the way. Uh, the two expect to see the four-time NBA champ again on Friday at the Grand Reveal, and they could not believe how incredibly nice he was. Pounds. I am not a small guy. I am a small guy compared to Shaquille O'Neal. That is the largest man that I've ever been around. He grabbed my butt and I can tell you right now that that hand went from the top of my back to right to the top of my thigh. Sent a chill up my spine. Just a great guy, you know. I'm a big kid, he's a big kid, and uh, it's gonna be really awesome because he says, I can't picture this. That's okay, because we can. All right, so what we're doing here is we're creating a perfect circle made out of building stone. It's going to be the fire pit. And the actual, this side of the wall of the fire pit is gonna go right down into the pond and it's gonna protrude up another 18 inches from the surface of the water. Yeah, so what we're doing right now is we're leveling this thing for our building stone that we're gonna use for our fire pit within the, the pond. Then we're gonna have some wing walls that come off of it here and we'll put some rocks in the end and maybe work the rock into this, the middle of it. And this is going to be the coping stone that's going to be our border for our pond at this point. So it's gonna be really approachable this side and we'll get some uh, lights embedded into the wall. It's a really nice effect. So we're gonna 
on 200 feet of three inch, two 100 foot lines because we're gonna feed two different things from, I believe one's gonna be a 9PL and one's gonna be one of the new five to nine pumps. So the trench is gonna go all the way from this skim cove, it's gonna go all the way up to where Bernie's digging up to the bog area, the wetland, and uh, yeah. We're doing it, <laughs> we're doing it. What do we got here? The uh, McCafe coffee. What do we got over here? We actually had to go get rocks because not having the rocks till tomorrow with Memorial Day being here, we needed these rocks for holding us down. So we went to site one, picked up some stone, and we're gonna set them today. I stole some cinder blocks. Check out those beauties. Got some pea gravel, some cinder blocks, just enough to keep us rolling today. Progress is growing great today. We got the wetland filter excavated out. So remember, this is the heart of the system. So this is re responsible for detoxification of all the water. It's gonna deliver the desired water quality for Shaq's new fish, and that's gonna be critical. So we wanna make sure everything's taken care of. So we got our appropriate elevation. We have the snorkel and centipede ready. The next step, now that we have the fabric in place, is gonna be to get the rubber liner in, aqua box, and gravel. Down over on this side, we have that whole fire pit. Joey, Weston, they've been busy putting together that big structure that's anchoring the entire pond. So far, it's been a productive day. A little bit of rain coming in and out, but other than that, it's been good. First rock, super excited. We actually went and got these so we could keep the things rolling. Remember we talked about that, just keep things rolling? But the idea of this rock is it's really high up on the one side and it tapers down, so we'll get it to kind of soften this up. It'll give it more of the look that this was built in and around the rock. Just about to wrap up the seam on this intake bay liner to the pond liner here so that we can start putting in our aqua box and our intake components. And then we're just waiting on gravel and boulders. So this is really cool. Chris and Tristan and Dan are working on a seam. And it looks to be probably like 10 to 15 feet. And it's really just getting them ready for something epic. Come check this out. Over here, we have two 15 by 100 foot liners. Now originally we had a 20 foot by 100 foot liner specced out for the job. Well, that didn't show up. And so John was able to find two 15 by 100s. The 15 foot wide is not wide enough to do what we want to do. So we are going to seam two 15 by 100 foot, 100 foot liners down this driveway. I love that Chris has been practicing over there. So he should be able to do this effortlessly. <laughs> End of day one, spectacular day. We've had a lot of issues. We didn't have the right liner because the liner didn't ship. We had problems with the gravel. Problems basically the whole time, but you know what? These are certified Aquascape contractors that are used to dealing with problems. All businesses are fixing problems. And we had a lot of fun. A lot of busting on each other, but a lot of fun. These guys are spectacular builders. This is gonna be a terrific job, and you know what? I think the best thing is that Shaquille O'Neal is gonna completely love it. I love the fact that he can't picture it, because I can already picture the water flowing. Hey, good job for the first day, guys, huh? Yes! Woo!